What's going on guys? Welcome back to Just Cook with Dustin where today I'm going to be showing you how to make maitake mushroom risotto. Maitake mushrooms I first had when I was in Japan. This is a staple mushroom in the grocery stores there. I had to go to my local farmer's market to find these and I'm going to be using about a third of a pound in this risotto. First let's get started with three to four strips of bacon that we're going to cut into about one inch pieces and get those sauteed. While we get that bacon cooking over medium heat, we're going to go back to the cutting board and dice up some onions. We're going to use about a quarter of a white onion. Uh, sweet onion would also work great in this, but I usually just have white onion around the house. So we're going to dice this into small pieces and get that sauteed with the bacon. We're going to continue to saute the bacon until it starts to get crispy. Now in America, we're used to just button mushrooms or baby portobellas, or, but in Japan, the maitake mushroom and several other mushrooms are in the grocery store. Mushrooms are a big part of their diet as far as uh, produce goes. They have these different varieties in the store, different textures and different flavors, but the maitake mushroom has a very beefy flavor and texture to it. So whatever seasonings you want to season it with, I've used this as a substitute in ravioli before uh, for like Italian sausage seasoned or ground beef, but it'll take on those seasonings and it has just a great beefy flavor to it. I highly recommend if you have a local mushroom grower or if you're fortunate enough to live in an area where they grow wild, uh, familiarize yourself with it. The name that it's called by here is Hen of the Woods. I've never found this out in the woods uh, so far. I've only been into mushroom hunting the last few years. Um, but another video, I've got a Fire Morels mushroom mac and cheese video that's going to be coming up to you guys in another week or so. So we're going to set aside the onions and bacon and begin to saute these mushrooms in the cast iron skillet in that bacon fat. And we're going to add a little bit of butter to this, but we're not going to add it right away. We just want to let these uh, caramelize. They got that uh, browning that's going to take place and it just gives a great caramelization. They don't give out a lot of water um, and you don't want to add salt because salt will draw out more water. So you just want to keep this in the dry skillet, which is that little bit of bacon fat until they start to turn a golden brown and then we're going to add butter to it at that time. So we're going to continue to saute these on medium, medium high heat, um, being sure not to burn them. But now we're going to add a tablespoon of butter and get that sauteed in along with a quarter teaspoon of cracked black pepper. And we're going to prepare two cloves of garlic, give them a rough chop while those mushrooms are sautéing. But I don't want to add this garlic in. In the recording of this, I put the garlic in too early. I suggest setting this aside and holding on to it until the time when we sauté the rice with a couple tablespoons of butter. At that time, I would add this garlic in, sauté the rice for that one minute or so before I add the white wine. By adding this garlic in a little too early, I ended up having a little bit of that bitter burnt garlic taste to this risotto. That's why I recommend holding off because with it sauteing in with those mushrooms and then adding back the bacon and onions here, the some of that garlic got a little too hot and a little too crispy. It gave it a little bit of a burnt taste. So hold off on adding that until you saute the rice. We're gonna add another tablespoon of butter here and get these sauteed before we set them aside and saute the rice. Now before sauteing my rice, I cleaned out my pan because it did have some of that burnt, bitter garlic taste to it. So I rinsed it out real quick. Now I've got a clean pan. I'm adding in a couple tablespoons of butter and a half cup of the Arborio risotto rice. And we're gonna saute this for about a minute. I would then add those two cloves of garlic in right now, along with these uh, three to four sprigs of thyme. My thyme has gone to flour here, but it's a beautiful flower. It's got great taste, but add this in and a little bit of salt. We're gonna saute this for just a couple more seconds and then we're gonna add in 
a third cup of white wine. I'm using a Pinot Grigio because that's what my wife drinks and that's what we've got around the house. So any white wine will do. Um, like I said, I'm using a Pinot Grigio, about a third of a cup, and we're gonna let this reduce by half. Once we've reduced the wine by half, we're gonna to begin to add our stock or bone broth. You can use a chicken or beef stock here. I'm using bone broth that my wife has made with a chicken carcass along with some pork shoulder bones and other aromatics. We're gonna add this in a ladle at a time, let it reduce down by half or a little more, add in another ladle, and we're gonna do that until the rice is tender. Um, it has no more crunchiness to it, it's fully cooked. This takes about 30 minutes. I had this on time-lapse, the 30 minute time-lapse. This is 30 seconds of video start to finish. We're gonna put in the rice and the bacon when this is done, when we're comfortable with how the rice is tasting. So add back that bacon and mushroom and onion and we're gonna stir that in, let the rest of the liquids um, be absorbed by the rice there and then we're gonna add some cheese. Normally uh, you're gonna use a Romano, Pecorino Romano or Parmesan cheese but today I'm using mozzarella. It's what I've got in the house. So really any cheese will do. I'm using a, a low moisture mozzarella that we usually use for pizza here. And I'm gonna stir that in until everything is melted and combined. Again, reserve about a third of your mushrooms and bacon so that you can use that at the end to top it as a garnish. To finish plating this up, we're gonna add those mushrooms, bacon, and onion to the top as a garnish along with a little bit of sliced green onion. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and you will give this recipe a try. If you've liked it, I'd appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and share these videos with your friends. That's a great way to help me grow this channel. I appreciate every one of you that has tuned in, subscribed, yeah, subscribed, <laughs> and are watching these videos. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Get in your kitchen, just cook, and we'll see you again next week. Take care.